Welcome to Guitar.com. If you're looking to purchase your first acoustic guitar or your first electric guitar, today we're going to help arm you with the information necessary to do so. Uh, the internet can be a great resource for finding all the research you need in doing so, but it can be very confusing. And today we're going to help drill down into that detail uh, and arm you with the information you need. So when you walk in the door at your local music store, you'll have that information. Your local music store can be a great resource. They'll be your best friend. They can help you buy your first amp, your first cable, your tuners, your strings, all that information. Let's head downstairs. We're here in Plainview, New York at All Music. We're going to meet up with the owners and they're going to help drill down that information for us. Come on. We're here with Guy and Erwin, the owners here at All Music. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to check in on exactly how to purchase your first guitar. So uh, this is Guy, this is Erwin. Erwin, I'm a, a, new, a beginner. I'd like to get my first guitar. How would I go about doing so? Well, I think the first thing that you have to decide is if you're purchasing a guitar for yourself as an adult, you want to set up a budget. You want to decide how much you like to spend and what is most important to you. So the first thing that I would ask you as a buyer is, what is your budget? I put aside uh, $150. Great. Well, for $150, we would focus on some of the entry-level guitars in the name brands that are out there. Some of the names like Fender, Ibanez, um, even um, Epiphone. Yeah, excellent guitar brands, excellent names, and a quality product, even at that entry level point. Um, also, you would consider their package guitars. Fender makes complete packages for an electric guitar, and that would be the guitar, the amplifier, the case, a tuner all the accessories that go along, the strap, cable. So when you're walking out of this store, you have everything you need to start playing. A really good option, and when you package that all together, a really great value. And would come right about into your budget, starting at just under $200, and would be really good. I'll also add, too, that that would be excellent for a beginning player, whether it was for you or for your son or, you know, or nephew or whatever that might be. Really, really good opportunity. Um, you know, in all of these guitars, there are features that you want to look for, whether it's the ones we discussed brand-wise or any other quality guitar. And let me show you some of those features. Okay, great. When we're looking at a beginning electric guitar for a beginning student, I, I think the most important thing is that you want that guitar to play well. You want it to play easily you want it to stay in tune. I think that's really where you want to be. So when they say play easily, what that means is that action, which means how hard you have to push down on the strings, is really nice and low, really nice and easy for your hand to, to play on that. If the action is low, when you're learning and starting, it's going to be super easy for you to do it. You're not going to get discouraged. A child's not going to get discouraged. No one is. And it's going to be a pleasure to play. The last thing is, the tuning machines, that's these on the top of the guitar. Uh, a quality tuning machine will help keep that guitar in tune. And that, again, is very, very important when you're talking about learning how to play and even when you're a professional. If the guitar is not in tune, even if you're playing the right notes, it's not going to sound good. So when you start looking at those two basic things, that's the first step. Of course, after that, the construction of the instrument, the type of pickups that are used, that all is important but not nearly as important as the rest. And again, I always recommend, like we said earlier, that you stick with some of the recognized brand names. You know, in the entry level points, it really, they, you know, really perfected a quality product. So as a beginner, it, it doesn't necessarily matter if I'm interested in a Strat body, or maybe an SG body, or a Les Paul body. Mm -hmm. It's more what's comfortable for me, provided that I'm getting a guitar that's set up properly. Would you set up a beginner guitar as well? Absolutely, and, and that's a big part of you know, buying a purchase, whether you're shopping, you know, a smaller store, a bigger store, it's very important that they have the service and the availability to set up that instrument, adjust it properly, because again, whether I handed you a guitar that's $150 or $200 or $2,000, if it's not set up properly and it's not adjusted correctly, it's not going to play correctly. Right. So yeah, that's a really important thing. Okay. 
without a doubt. So in just quickly in review, what we're talking about is we're getting looking at several of the brand names that are on the market, right. get something that's recognizable, find a body shape that, that you're comfortable or interested in, make sure that you ask for a setup, and a setup can run... If we do a setup on a guitar that we sell, yep. it's all included. It's all included. So absolutely. But, but usually on a ballpark, a setup can run anywhere from thirty to a fifty. To fifty dollars, exactly. Right. Okay, exactly. So, so we're talking uh, a setup, and is there anything additional that, that at that point beyond? Because you're getting an amp, a strap, a cable, a tuner, and a guitar. Right. When you're looking at those packages, yep. it's going to be a complete thing. Yep. If you're just shopping for the guitar alone. Yep. Remember, you're going to have to get an amp, you know, right. if you're playing that electric guitar and it's not plugged in, this is all you're going to hear, which right. is not too much. Yep. So, yes, absolutely, you have to keep in mind your budget will have to include money for an amplifier, you know, right. for a case, right. for everything else. But again, um, like you said, it, it's very important that the guitar itself is set up, the quality of the strings used, everything comes together to make for that final package. Terrific, Erwin. Thank you. Sure. That's the basic snapshot of what, it, what you should be asking for when you go into the store. There are kits available that come complete. You can buy an individual guitar, but remember there are additional accessories that you might require. But a setup is a key. A setup makes, it makes the difference between an instrument that will play properly and one that will play very poorly. Thanks for visiting us here with Guitar.com. Appreciate your time. We hope to see you on the site later on.